Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to my second Joomla video. And in this video, we're actually going to take a quick look at the back end of Joomla. So I'm just going to explain uh, basically what all the links are and where to find everything in Joomla. And after that, we should be good to go and start creating a website. So first thing you need to do is log into the back end of Joomla, which in case you guys didn't know, you just go ahead to your um wherever you're hosting your site, so mine's localhost in a folder called Joomla 33, and you're going to type in administrator, okay? And that's going to take you through to the back end of your site. Of course, you're going to have to log in. Uh, so whatever username and password you set up whenever you were setting Joomla up, that is what you're going to have to use to log in. And then you will go through to this page over here, which is the Joomla control panel. So whenever you log into Joomla, then it's going to take you through to the control panel. Okay. And if we take a look at this control panel real quick, you can see we've got a menu along the top of the page over here. Then we also have a menu along the side of the page. And this menu is actually only here on the control panel. So when we go through to any other page within the back end of Joomla, uh, this menu is going to disappear and we are going to use the menu here at the top. Okay. And then towards the right of the screen and also the middle of the screen, you can see we've got uh, a whole bunch of messages over here. So uh, this is just some messages about uh, post installation of Joomla. We also have some logged in users, which just so happens to be a super user, which is me actually. So uh, you should at least see one user there and that will be you. Uh, if you see more than one user right now, uh, you've got a little bit of a problem unless you logged in twice with two different browsers or something like that. Okay. Uh, then we've got popular articles and some site information. So the rest of the stuff really isn't too interesting. But let's take a look at what this menu does or where this menu will take us. Okay. So first of all, we've got the little Joomla logo over here. And if you click on that, that's going to take you right back to where you are, which is the Joomla control panel. So whenever you click on that logo, it's going to take you to the control panel. Okay. If we click on system, that's going to open up a little drop down menu. And we've got a bunch of different options to choose from over here. So we can go back to the control panel, which we're already here. We can also go check out global configuration. And there's actually a bunch of settings that will probably change in here uh, later on. So when we start creating our site, there are probably some default things that we want to turn off. And we'll do that in the global configuration. Uh, global check-in, you don't have to worry about that. It's a, a little bit of a boring thing. Uh, then we've got clear cache, and that is just if there are problems with your site. In other words, like uh, images aren't loading, or you've got old images that are loading, or something like that. You might want to clear the cache. So we've got that uh, button over there, or that link rather. Uh, purge expired cache, same thing really. Uh, system information will obviously give you some information about the system that you're running Joomla on. Uh, users, now you guys probably aren't going to have to deal with this for now. Uh, but uh, this is where you'll be able to create a new user or manage existing users. You'll be able to create user groups or access levels for different users. Okay. And like I said, right now you should be a super user. So if you set Joomla up on your computer, then you should be a super user. If you want somebody else to have all the same permissions as you, then you can go ahead and add a new user and just make sure you add them as a super user. You can see you've also got an option to mass email clients or mass email users. Uh, and you should be able to do that uh, whenever gathering an email list. So if you have users that are signing up on your site already, you can email them straight from Joomla. Uh, but we're probably not going to work with any of this for a little while. First, we want to actually learn how to create a website in Joomla, and then we'll come back to all of this stuff. Okay. Then let's take a look at this menus button and or this menus link rather. 
and this menus link basically takes us to the menu manager now over here we can add a new menu or if we go to the menu manager we'll be able to edit existing menus so you can see we've got two menus here which are main menu and user menu and we actually have shortcuts to those menus over here okay and these menus are menus that will show up on the front end of our website so if I come back to the front end of my website over here you can see I've got one menu which is actually over here and right now it only has one menu item which is home but if you wanted to make another page or a link to another page you could go ahead and carry on adding links to this main menu and they will appear in this uh, this little section of the website okay I'm not sure if we're actually using this menu user menu I'm pretty sure that's not being used at the moment uh, so that's why we can't see that okay uh, now let's take a look at content quickly and content is basically just content that's on our website so articles which will be uh, these stories over here and believe it or not these can be more than one article showing on a page at a time so uh, you'll notice that if we go visit uh, our article manager over here uh, we might have more than one article nope okay so we only have one uh, depending on what content you chose when you were setting Joomla up you might have some different articles here uh, but because we chose default English we only have one article okay we can also add new articles and we'll be able to edit articles and stuff from here okay categories just means we can categorize these articles and that's nice for um, making blogs and things like that or news websites okay uh, featured articles are basically just articles that'll have this yellow star next to them and that means that they will appear on uh, like every page or if you have a featured page for only featured articles uh, let's say you wanted to feature all your latest articles then um, you could go ahead and uh, add all those articles into the featured articles section and those will be the first articles that show up whenever a user visits that specific featured page uh, media manager is just where we can go to upload images and stuff like that so if you want to add images or videos or any other files to your website you could do so in the media manager okay uh, let's go ahead and take a look at components now and components are basically where we would uh, manage plugins and things like that that we actually added to Joomla so we'll get more or we'll learn more about plugins in the future but basically if we want to add a feature to Joomla that doesn't already exist in Joomla there are ways that you can make a plugin and there are plenty of people out there that already made really really good plugins uh, that we can go ahead and use and so we'll install those plugins and they'll probably appear over here in the components section uh, right now these are just some default components that Joomla has then if we take a look at extensions uh, and if we click on the extension manager this will take us through to a, a page where we can install plugins or install extensions so exactly what I was talking to you guys about just now where we can go ahead and download an extension from a page uh, something that we might think we want on our website that Joomla doesn't already do by default um, and one uh, example of this would be if we wanted to include an image slider or something like that it's not that functionality doesn't exist in Joomla by default but there are plugins that can do something like that and we can go ahead and download those files and upload them to Joomla and actually add that functionality to our site uh, module manager would be uh, certain modules and these are um, Joomla is actually made up of modules so we can go ahead and make different modules for different sections of our website uh, and you'll notice that if I come back here this popular tags section over here that's probably a module latest articles that's probably a module this login form I'm sure that's a module and uh, 
this logo is probably a module as well. So if we go back here to module manager, you can see that we've got uh, a module for our menu. We've got a module for popular tags, latest articles, login form, pretty much everything I just mentioned at the front end of the site over here. So basically, if you want something to appear permanently on a lot of pages or more than one page, you can go ahead and make it once in a module. And then that module uh, can be set to which pages you want them to show on. And we can have those modules appearing on the pages that we want them on. Okay, so that's pretty much what modules are. Plugins, again, that was under extensions. Uh, template manager. Now this is something that's really cool. Okay, um, you'll see that right now. Are we using this one or this one? I don't know. Okay, we're using one of these templates. I think Isis is for the back end, and ProStar is what we're using in the front end. But basically, Joomla is uh, made up of different templates, and a template is basically just a skin. So I can go ahead and change my skin to Hathor and you can see that the entire back end of Joomla has just changed. So I was actually changing the administrator um, skin. So if I uh, maybe just find my way back to uh, template manager. Okay, I actually changed the back end template. So let's go ahead and change that back to Isis and this is the default, the default Joomla template and uh, we might as well just leave that for the uh, back end just like that. Uh, let's go ahead now and uh, we're going to change the front end skin. So right now I think the front end is using ProStar. So here you can actually see the locations. We've got administrator and administrator. These will be back end skins for uh, the back end of Joomla and sites will be front end skins for the front end of Joomla. In other words, this page over here. So right now we're using ProStar. We can go ahead and change that to uh, bees three and that's going to change the entire skin of the front end of our site so yeah you can see that our website has indeed changed in fact the side menu that was on the side over here is now actually on the left and uh, we've got a different picture over here we've got a whole different menu uh, so yeah uh, that's what's really cool about Joomla is we've got the ability to actually create these templates and we're going to learn how to create a template later on in the series but basically uh, this template will then change the front end look of the website but it's not going to get rid of any of the content so you'll still be able to keep uh, pretty much all the content that's already there uh, which is this article and all of these modules and stuff like that okay so let's change that back and we can look at the next thing, which is just the language manager, which uh, I guess isn't really important because we're going to be working in English in my tutorials. If for some reason you want to work in a different language, uh, you can go ahead and maybe look at that yourself. Help. Uh, there's basically a links to Joomla forums and things like that. And uh, this will take you to basically places where you can get a lot of help if you don't know how to work with Joomla. Although this is why you got my tutorials. I'm going to continue making tutorials for you guys. Uh, and that way I'll be helping you as well. Okay. And if you ever want to log out of Joomla, you can just go ahead and click on this gear icon and click log out, or you could edit your account. And that is pretty much all I have for you in this video. So don't forget to subscribe and please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.